Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm excited to bring you the latest release from Magic Square. This is their two pack, the MSB 49 Spider Gear and MSB 50 Energy. This of course is their versions of a G1 Gears and Wind Charger. Both very fun little figures. They're a pleasure to mess around with and transform. Really excited to get into this one, but first let's start with those accessories. You do get the typical Magic Square instructions, this time double-sided, one side for each character, and also a Legend Scale trading card for each character, just mirroring the box art. First we have Wind Charger's Blaster, done in silver, painted rather nicely, not much detail, but it is tiny. And he can hold that in either hand, as you might expect. Gears does get a few accessories. Uh, first off, you do get his blaster, done in blue. Uh, for transformation, this does stow and add stability to the leg, so it does transform. It is a rather snug fit, but you can get him to hold it in either hand. Gears does also have a very small welder. And you can use it by simply popping out the hand and putting that into the hole. In addition to the, the emotionless face that he comes with installed, you do get a smiling face for Gears, which we only, only see in that one episode. So let's start by taking a look at Spider Gear, or Gears, as we'll refer to him. Nicely done little bot. You do have gray paint on the face with blue eyes. Grumpy enough for the character. Definitely. Uh, you do have gray accents on the side of the head as well. Definitely wish something different could have been done with this, but I understand why. This is actually a, a peg point for transformation. But I do wish that it was solid on the back. But it's okay. Uh, blue across the shoulders. There is a hinge here, so you do get the ability to go all the way up. And without that, you can bring up that far without utilizing this hinge. Full 360 on the arm. You do get the ability to go more than 90 degrees on the elbow with a rotation right above the elbow. The hands can or the arms can actually go backwards, but that's for transformation. Looking at the hands, typical magic square hands, but they do have rotation. Looking at the chest, you've got some nice gray paint with a red accent here in the middle. It looks really good. Now this does open. Just be aware it's very, very tight. What I I prefer to do just to avoid damaging the paint at the bottom. Just unhook and take a spudger or something and push on the peg. Once you've popped it through, just reconnect it. And that gives you access to the very nicely painted chest with silver, black, and even a little teal. It looks really good. It's nice that they put it in there. I mean, we only saw it in the episode changing gears in season one but it's a nice little gimmick a red plastic throughout he does have waist rotation as well as very decent ab crunch coming down to the hips no side skirts but you do have plenty of motion the front skirt does go underneath into the cavity when you move it it's nicely done don't have to worry about popping it forward or anything 90 degrees out and as per the norm solid rear skirt so no much not much back articulation you do have rotation at the upper thigh with the knee you do have a double joint giving you the full run 
and then coming down to the feet you do have tilt but nothing up and down you can however manipulate the the heel spur a little bit just to give you some balance But overall, it's nicely detailed, especially for how small he is. But definitely open here in the back, which is a little bit disappointing. But otherwise, the backpack isn't that bad. Moving on to wind charger. Definitely a very nice figure as well. Taking a look at the head sculpt, nice gray paint with blue eyes, and surprisingly, this has a lot of articulation. You can do a full 360, head tilt up, a little bit down. I was surprised. Gray across the shoulders. I do wish the backpack would peg in a little bit better. But that might be user error. Uh, looking at the shoulders, you do have the ability to get up to 90 degrees. Full rotation. You do have bend right above the elbow. And right at 90 degrees as far as elbow bend. Uh, hands can swivel. They're on very small ball pegs, so they're a little tight, but they can swivel and move up and down a little bit just because of transformation. Looking at the chest, you've got some nice dark gray here in the center. Gray plastic throughout. But you do have, again, waist swivel. Just, it rubs up against the, ba the backpack a little bit, just be aware. And then also with him, you do have a crunch. Coming down to the legs, you do have more black paint here on the crotch. Uh, the front leg, again, has hip skirts that go inside, giving you the ability to kick up well above 90 degrees. And this is where he's a little bit limited and again it is tight but actually the hip skirt does move giving you 90 degrees out but it is tight knee bend full run and again rotation at the upper thigh Coming down to the feet, you do have a toe tilt. Again, you can move the heel spur up and down to provide balance, but no real up and down motion. But overall, articulation and detail on both of these are, are great. And for a size comparison here, they both are with Magic Square's Jazz and Optimus Prime. 2.0.
And here we have both units in their alt modes. Taking a look at gears first. We got a very nice blue metallic on the windows, silver on the hood and grill headlights, red bumper, which I do have a little bit of a defect there. Nothing huge. Um, these tabs don't tab in the best, but in most cases, once they're there, they're okay. Looking around at the back, you do have storage for his gun right here between the legs. Silver with silver hubcaps. Looks really good. And they both do they both do roll really well. Taking a look at wind charger. I mean this looks like he's right out of the cartoon. Even the, the bigger rear tire. Nice gray on the bumper. Again, metallic blue on the windshields, windows. Coming down the side. 
comes together really well. You've got the ribbed rear window like you do see on Camaros frequently. So overall, both alt modes, they are pretty, pretty amazing. Especially for such a small bot. And for comparison, once again, here we have them with Magic Square Prime, version 1.0, and Magic Square Jazz. So how do I feel about the figures? They're both really good. They're not perfect by any means. Uh, some negatives, for example, openness on the back of the legs. A wind charger, since his legs come to an abrupt stop in the back, kind of has the tendency to, to wobble backwards a little bit. Um, other than that, I, I think they're 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 pretty good. They're they're definitely fitting for the character. The sculpting and articulation are fantastic, which seems to be uh, a focus for Magic Square right now. Definitely go for that. Cartoon accuracy, which is what I strive for. Uh, the paint that is there is done well. And I really do think that this is a good interpretation of the figure. I recommend it, definitely. I picked these up from magicsquaretoys.com directly. I think that they're still in stock at this point. So check them out if you're interested. Definitely, uh, definitely fun to play with, for sure. But... If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to get your bell on so you get notified of future content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.